in this video i am going to show you how to install and configure post sql version is 12.2 latest version on ubuntu 18.40 you can install on debian and x mint also the method is same so i am using ubuntu 18.04 operating system so the version is written this is a website where you can check about the version downloading and the flavors also you can find about that one post green so first to check uh, we'll check the version which is available in ubuntu for downloading to check the version this is a command which you need to type here in the terminal here so it will show you the push green version which is available so on the screen you can see this is a version 10 by 1 and the showing priority ubuntu this is the information okay don't know and size is it this is some size okay so now updating so first step first command is we need to just uh, just type sudo apt update so before installing we need to just go ahead with the update here so giving the command after that we need to install the post grid here so the i'm installing the post grid sql from the respiratory ubuntu so now let's install that one here just copy this command and paste you can find this command in my below to my video description box okay and just press yes to continue and after that we'll check the account of postgre here by logging on this one this is a command okay so let's once it's get finished we'll show you the next thing so now, now let's use this postgre account here by typing this one command here so before I type the command here, what it's showing here is the success I call is, and then you can start the database using this one is the Excel file, and then you can just copy this and paste here to start. So the version and the cluster is showing version. It can mistake it. It is too well, but it's still done. So you can see all these things. So let's log in into the Postgre here. So I have been logging into the Postgre here account. So you can see this is I have entered the Postgre here. So let's make this small one. Okay. Now uh, the next one is verify. So whether uh, the version is selected or not. To come out of this from the Postgre, we need to press Ctrl D. That will be come out. Okay. So now tap in this here. So you can see about the version here like you can see the 10.3 version this is configuration is showing over the terminal okay so let's put c control x control z or whatever you press to come out of the zone that terminal okay now we got all the things now let's verify is completed now we need to log in into that one so psql also work on that one uh, sorry i got the fatal role does not exit okay so now we'll use that <coughs> sudo su hyphen post this so either you can use this one to log in or this one to use to log in both are work same here so i will replace this one and this one here both are same so I'll just remove the post crease here and I'll put it here. So, okay. so it's not working. Leave it now. So can I save it now? For exiting, which I have already told you, just type this last Q. It will be come out. Okay. Oh, it's not coming. So you can press Control D to come out switching the account means just type this one without switching the account that means if you want to go ahead with a different account names you can use this one see here we have login to search here if it type slash q it will be quick so this is about the login into that postgre actual one this was the user account we have logged sorry and this one is user database we have entered so this command actually used for database entering okay 
login into database okay this is used to uh, login into user account okay now let's move on to your quit also done this one is command committed slash q which already have time you know, now creating the new road to post group okay so i'll be using inside the post group if you want to have this like this like login into the sql and copy this command here so it will be created here okay if you want to quit the from there outside you can create with this command or with this command also both are same so i will be using this one okay or creating a new user here okay outside the terminal so here i have created the new account with the attic net the username where there you can give any name here okay so remember inside the post queue you can create a new user by giving this terminal or if you want to give outside the post queue means give either this one or this one so in place of an attic net you can give any name for more information just type man create a user for creating a post queue database new so we'll create a inside this you can give it new here inside the post queue just create a database with the name it cloud net which i have given here so you can replace it cloud net with the any name you can give for outside this one either you can give or this one i am giving this one here so i have users my database name it cloud net that are db in place of it cloud net db, db you can give any name here so it has been created both the username and the database have been created now i'm giving the permission to the postgresql let's check let's work or not so it has been login so now i'll be login so that's will be quick so uh, grant database permissions so inside that one sorry so we need to log into that one and need to give permission to the user so that means i have given permission to the it cloud net database to the it cloud net username so remember just type this command and give in place of it database name to it cloud net permission for that you need to enter in and um, you need to log into the post queue and then you need to give the permission there okay now opening with the new one okay so for that one just type the sudo add user it cloud net which let's check it in so i have added the new user at cloudnet and there i have given the password here you need to give a strong password here okay and then new database connect either you can give this one or this one or any command so i am using the first one here for creating new database with this one command okay here is i have been logged out here inside the database so press ctrl d to log out and then to connect to different database just type this one and give uh, yeah. so that role does not exist in place of the skill you need to give any command name now you want to check the command form so we need to give and here i have type slash for info which i got your connected database postgre as a user postgre where socket is showing and with the port number also you can see it's 5432 okay so after this i'm going to create a table here with the cloud network which i have given a name you can give any name instead of cloud network and then type all those things command and paste it to your database okay now for checking the output type slash and d so we got here table created here public and the two rows cloud network equipment table sequence postgre owner is here okay so after that without sequence like you can give t here just at t so it will be showing you without sequence with sequence this one is here okay so we'll just type output with sequence okay so now adding query deleting into a table 
so this command will help you to add delete the query here so just replace the cloud network with your any name so i am adding the inserting means it is adding the query okay in place of deleting you can give anything so you can see added the query also here so from select cloud network is the name which is selecting the database name so this is a query which i have added and you can see here type color which i have shown location it's coming here install date this is the date it's showing and the location color type it's also showing here. okay so delete if i want to delete from cloud network where i type slides so actually it's deleting here the uh, slides means that the first one this row it will be deleted okay so let's see how we can delete from, from this command it will be deleted okay then i check scan the second so in place of slides you can give swing also it, so it will be deleted so this is uh, work for that one then deleting adding deleting the um, from the table so alert table it's the uh, last may the command it will be alert and changes will be come to the table here for that one and then uh, select from cloud network that is uh, to check the output here is there so you can see the last minute it has been added alert existing alert table means it will be add our la the table it will be at one more column it will be added with the name of last minute okay this is our date we say so let's see about updating the table for update this is a command where it will be replaced with the color we can change the color instead of the color red swing will be color red color will be chair where swing inside that one okay so let's see so here instead of yellow the red color is came everything is same just we have changes the color so this is a command it changes the color here and if you want to reset the password for that just type this command and with the new new password you can give a strong password here i am giving a strong password here so instead of that password you need to give one strong password here so i am giving the password here that's uh, so now if you want for remote login purpose this is our method is it so let's quit that one uh, for remote purpose login so for the remote login access um let's see what it's a uh, password it's not, it's not a screen password directly so instead of um push create we sell if i remove then what will nothing okay so uh, just copy this command and paste here so we need to just find the listen address there so we need to find the listen address okay so listen address where it is where connection is there here one more thing we have to change here one more is the let, uh, let me show you what we have to change this um okay in the same configuration file instead of this one listen address star there is listen address star is local is there so uh, inside that so yes we need to remove that one we need to give a Start. that means it will be accessed with the all ip okay just give a star here uh, that's it and remove this one okay. now finish so now let's restart the post give service here if you want to check the status of that one we can type the command by removing check status postgres service status so you can see is active now so let's use this port number what it's showing okay so by typing in lt grub 542 is listening okay it's showing listening now with the same again the configuration file 
we have to change something here let's try the command here and we need to find the peer instead of peer we need to give md5 here so i need to just search peer local some host will come Mm, here yes this i got it yeah this one is there inside that database i have to give here local host is all have peer is there but we need to give here only yes just remove the peer and to get md5 okay remove that one and give md5 okay press control and yes and then service should be restarted again so this is actually database type is there ignore that one so now let's check the status after that so it's um, so this is a method actually the configuration file creating the tables deleting adding updating making changes with all those commands you can just change and make into that inserting adding okay so this will have help you work in that post group so if you got any problem you just comment below to my video and uh, thanks for watching my video you can email me on itcloudnet at gmail.com and uh, share my videos and channels to your friends and relatives thanks for watching my videos please subscribe to cloudnet channel